Taylor Swift and Kylie Claus shut down feud rumors. And why did Ariana Grande stop singing in the middle of a performance? And Jay-Z and Beyonce's backup singers tackled a fan. All of that and more on today's rundown. You guys, a collaboration that I didn't even know I needed in my life is coming via Selena Gomez and Cardi B. It's the collab I never knew I needed, but now I need it like now. <laughs> now. But first, you guys, um, police just stopped these burglars' plans to rob Demi's house while she's in rehab. TMZ reported that shortly after Demi left the hospital to go to rehab, a group of thieves were arrested by the Los Angeles Police Department. The arrests were unrelated to Demi, but the LAPD's investigation revealed that the group had plans to burglarize Demi's home while she was away receiving treatment. Demi's, you know, casual $8.3 million mansion was just one of the many targets on the group's list. They reportedly planned to hit a number of homes, both celebrity and non-celebrity owned, but thanks to the police, the plan was foiled. But just in case the police have stepped up security on Demi's property to make sure it stays safe while she's away. This sounds like a plot to a movie. I also am very curious how they found out that they were planning to take over Demi's house. I mean, usually if you get caught doing something you're not supposed to, you don't go, oh, by the way, now that I'm here, I should just tell you, I was gonna like rob 10 more people's houses and this is how I was gonna do it. Yeah. Also, like this just goes to show, they must have had it written down. Like they must yeah. have had very organized criminals. They had more of like a, like a binder with mm -hmm. those like plastic sleeves yeah. so that the paper wouldn't get Danny's house burglar was like on the notebook and the police are like, what is this? By the way, I wouldn't be joking about such a burglary if it had actually happened. So I'm very glad that the police thwarted, thwarted. That's such a big word for me. Oh my so God, it's early, early too. I think it's because I'm like halfway through my coffee. Um, so I'm really glad police thwarted that's even safe, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad they forged that burglary. But let's move on to some Beyonce news. Um, a fan, I mean, I don't know if you should call him a fan, a guy rushed the stage and chased down Beyonce and Jay-Z. Beyonce and Jay-Z's On The Run 2 show in Atlanta ended in chaos on Saturday after a drunk guy ran up on the stage, you guys. This happened at the very end of the show after Beyonce and Jay-Z had turned around to exit the stage. This random guy then chased after the couple on stage, but it took a while for anyone to kind of realize what was actually going on. <laughs> for Beyonce's backup dancers because as soon as they figured out what was happening, they came for this guy. Oh my God! Oh my God! So the dancers were actually able to tackle the fan before he got too close to Beyonce or Jay-Z. So soon after this incident, the tour released a statement saying, at this point, we had a controlled evacuation of all crew on the stage in order to safely defuse the situation. We are happy to confirm that nobody was hurt during the incident and Mr. and Mrs. Carter are choosing not to press charges against the individual. But that wasn't enough for fans. Many took to Twitter to express concern for the couple, wanting confirmation that they were okay. Then it prompted Beyonce's publicist to respond via Instagram saying, thank you to all the fans for your concern. They are fine and looking forward to the show tomorrow. This was so confusing to me because after everything that concerts have been going through recently with safety concerns, um, you guys know yesterday there was a shooting at this convention yeah. in Florida, in the US. With all of these safety concerns with Ariana Grande's tour, I've heard through the grapevine, grapevine that Beyonce is very strict when it comes to security at her concerts. Oh. So with that being said, I am so shocked that her security team wasn't there to stop this guy. I know. I mean, he got so far, you guys, and what if they had been on stage? They had literally just walked off stage. So I think there's a bigger issue here. I mean, obviously, you can't control what the mask public is going to do, mm -hmm. but you can control what your security team does. And I do feel like Beyonce is going to up her security and I absolutely think she should. Oh, she absolutely should. That never should have 
even been no. plausible. I'm so shocked. I was watching something like, is this real? Like, did someone really just be, were they really able to just get on the stage like that? He got right up there. Also, I'm surprised Beyonce is impressing charges. Yeah, me too. Because what was his intention? I don't know. Like, I get we're all big fans of Beyonce and Jay-Z. Like, I get it. Same. But I wouldn't run up on the stage after them, you know? I feel like that seems like his intentions may have been a little off. I don't know, Renee. I've seen people do some crazy things for a selfie. <laughs> and maybe that's all he wanted, just proof that he was there or something. I don't know. It's really scary. We're laughing about it now because, again, Beyonce and Jay-Z are safe. But I also want to say, have friends like Beyonce's backup dancers. Oh my gosh, true friends coming true through. True friends. So Ariana Grande just stopped singing in the middle of one of her performances, and it's actually because of one fan's request. During the Sweetener listening session in Los Angeles on Saturday night, a fan hilariously interrupted Ariana's performance simply because they hadn't started recording their video quickly enough. Ari began singing her track, Raindrops and Angel Cried, and a fan waited until the perfect perfect moment to scream out their request for Ari to start the song over. And the craziest part is, she actually obliged. I was like, I sure. Are you ready now? I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, on top of celebrating her new album with fans over the weekend, Ariana also had Another great reason to celebrate her fourth studio album, Sweetener, debuted at number one. Ari actually shared the news with her fans via Instagram and thanked them all with a very sweet message, writing, quote, hello, I am still crying. Thank you for everything always. I thought this video was so funny. I love, because I've seen a lot of interviews with Ariana Grande where she talks about how good her hearing is. And like, dang, her hearing, she's got that little sound piece in her ear. She's singing and she heard one fan say, will you start over? I loved it. I mean, what I love about this story is that Ariana gets like the social media game of it all. Like, yeah. That she could have easily just been like, whatever. <laughs> but like, she cares about her fans and I just think it's really cute. Yeah, it was really cute and it made such a sweet moment. So I don't know if you guys caught this on social media, but when I saw it, I nearly lost it and I was alone and I had no one to share it with. So thank <laughs> goodness I'm here with you and can talk about it. Selena Gomez and Cardi B are collaborating on a song together and they teased us with a little something. So in case you guys missed it, Cardi shared a behind the scenes photo on Instagram over the weekend of director's chairs on a set. On the backs of the chairs were the names Selena, Ozuna, and DJ Snake, which obviously meant that some type of collaboration was in the works. There was even a tiny chair labeled culture for Cardi's two month old daughter, which is so cute. But anyway, Cardi captioned the photo saying, soon come winky face on set. So regardless of what they're working on, it doesn't sound like it's going to be long until we get to experience this for ourselves. Selena also teased the collab on Instagram too, posting a video of the four artists goofing off on set along with a series of photos captioned. Today was so fun. Plus Ozuna took to Instagram to tease the collab as well and added that the song is called Taki Taki. So whose song is this? Well, according to DJ Snake, the song will actually be a single off of his upcoming album on his Instagram story he wrote in Los Angeles shooting the music video for my next single. Then he followed up by writing out the names of Selena, Cardi, and Ozuna, making it pretty clear that this was the project that they were all teasing. Cannot wait for this, you guys. I think this is going to be so good. And I just have been missing new Selena music. Me, I was gonna say the same thing. Like I'm, I've been waiting for Selena <laughs> to release something new. And the same. fact she's doing it with Cardi B. I know. Is it our birthday? Is it everyone's birthday I today? know, I know. Christmas <laughs> came early, y'all. Seriously, I'm so excited. I wonder what it's gonna sound like. It's for sure gonna be like a dance track. I mean, DJ Snake is Definitely, on. definitely a dance track. Which is what I think we need for the summer. I mean, the summer's over, so we need a dance track for the fall. Oh, the summer is over. That's depressing. I just realized that kind of hit me. I was like, We need summer. a dance track for the fall. Fall. Okay, Swifties, we can all take a deep breath now because turns out Carly Kloss and Taylor Swift are not feuding. <sighs> Carly Kloss was spotted singing her heart out over the weekend at Taylor Swift's concert in Nashville. As hard as it is to believe, it's already been a year since these two have been seen together. But hey, it's as if time hasn't even passed at all. 
The duo fueled bad blood rumors after Carly Kloss's name was visibly absent from Taylor Swift's Look What You Made Me Do music video. If you recall in the video, Taylor was rocking that t-shirt with all those names on it of all of her friends, but Carly's name was nowhere to be found. Thus, the rumors began. But Carly has denied those rumors publicly in the past. But you guys, it wasn't until this past weekend that we got some solid evidence that these two are still pals. So Carly was seen dancing and singing her heart out in the VIP section of Taylor's concert, and fans couldn't help but take in this beautiful moment and obviously document it. One fan snapped a pic of Carly and wrote, we love a supportive queen filming blank space. While another posted a video of Carly recording Taylor's performance on her phone, and if that doesn't scream best friend, I don't know what does. Also, Carly posted to her Instagram a selfie with Tay backstage and captioned it, quote, no one puts on a show like Taylor Swift. Hashtag reputation tour Nashville was out of this world. I am so proud of you. I am so happy this happened because I think along with every uh, Swifty out there, we were wondering what the heck happened to this best friendship. Yeah. And I just love that they're okay. I love that she was like pulling a Kris Jenner out in the crowd recording Taylor Swift. It's so cute. I don't know what I think about this. I, Ooh. here's here's kind of what I think. I think one of two things. I think they're still friends and we've all been duped by like whatever we've read in headlines. Yeah. Um, but I do think that there was a time when Taylor was really pushing this whole girlfriend, friend squad thing. Yeah. And I think that there was a, a change, a shift in her PR where she probably called her friends and was like, hey, I know we've been doing this squad thing, this girlfriend thing, but I want to kind of like cut all that off for a while. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why. I also wonder too, because I can't remember, oh, it was Carly Kloss was out with Katy Perry, remember? Yeah, and Harry Styles, but that was like whatever. Yeah. But know. I do feel like there was a moment in time when maybe they weren't really spending a lot of time together. Maybe they had had a falling out. Or maybe they just kind of like drifted apart, which happens totally. Yeah, I could definitely see it being the latter because I mean, when you live that far away from what, also Taylor's traveling all the time. So I think with her busy schedule, living apart, her new it's relationship. Her new relationship. There's a lot of reasons why they could have had a falling out that wasn't really dramatic, just they didn't, didn't hang out as much. Exactly. And also, this concert was one that I wish I was there for. I mean, like every concert that Taylor Swift has. <laughs> but because Taylor Swift sang like one of her first hits that was Tim McGraw and had Tim McGraw and Faith Hill up there singing it with her. It was epic. I saw the clips. It's so good. So speaking of Carly and Taylor, do you guys actually think they're still friends? Do you think there was ever beef to begin with? Let us know in the comments. And I gotta know, how excited are you guys for this Selena Gomez, Cardi B collaboration? Are you gonna lose everything when it comes out? Because I am. <laughs> I mean, I already lost everything just for the teasers. Yep, so. so you can imagine the lack of chill we're about to have. Anyways, you guys, that is all we have for you today, and we'll be back here tomorrow. Bye, you guys. Okay, guys, then click right over here because Jeffree Star just addressed Manny MUA's apology. Oof, the booty community <laughs> is lit, you guys. Also, hit that button down below to subscribe to our channel for more DHR. Do it.